I got an audition. <laughs>the short film that I've been really really excited about the one that's been filmed in Whitby and it's with some really famous faces one of which who I've always wanted to work with um I sent my application off when I was in Ireland so the first stage they asked for your spotlight they asked for your show reel your headshot a little bit about yourself what you've been working on recently and then based on that they would see if they wanted to bring you to kind of a recall stage and give you an audition with a script and last night, I actually got an email from the company saying that they want to audition me. So I've been sent three pages of the script and I've got three to four days to kind of learn it, send it off. And if I get through to that stage, there is a person audition. So I'll probably have to go somewhere to meet them in the studio or in a casting room or something. Or depending on location where they are, where I am at the time, um, it could be like a Zoom audition, a Zoom meeting. And then if I get through that, then I get the job. So I'm just going to enjoy the process, stay really positive, And I've just got everything crossed because oh, I really wanted the film. And I kind of just had that mindset where I was, I'm going to do my best, enjoy the process. And I got it. So I'm going to try and do that with this. And hopefully this one is mine as well. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> don't understand and I've just switched on now because I've just seen something on Facebook actually obviously um people get really scared when they want to do something but they find out it's going to take them maybe one year two year five years to complete you know maybe it's a training course or a degree or a qualification or something but I always just think that the time is going to pass anyway like whether you do the course or not whether you do the degree or not whether you do what you want to do or not the time will pass anyway, so you might as well just do it because a year will go by and you'll either be qualified for what you want to do or you won't. So just do it. <laughs> for the little competition that I did in episode five to win one of my books. Here we go, lifelong lesson. This is available on Amazon and Kindle, Barnes and Noble. You can get one direct from me if you want me to sign it and things like that. Um, so what I'll be doing is I'll be signing this, sending it to the winner with like a little care package and some of the little treats as well. And it's just to say thank you for watching really. So everyone's name that entered is in this cup. There we go. And I'm now going to draw one. So good luck, everybody. Give them a shake. Okay, so the winner is... I've got one. Stuck together. Okay, the winner is... Josie! <laughs> So what I'll be doing is I'll give you a little message on Facebook or something um, and I'll get it ready and give it to you. So well done Josie.
everybody so what you just saw there was the introduction and the audition self tape that i sent to the casting director of the short film um i'm just waiting literally to hear back from that now so i'm hoping that i did enough to show potential for the character that i auditioned for i did get an email back saying that they have received the audition and they will be in touch shortly it was all very positive and very nice but you, you just never know and obviously there is still one more stage to go even after this audition so yeah fingers crossed so that is the end of episode 10 which also means the end of my vlogs um i just want to say thank you so so much to everybody that's literally been watching since vlog number one that seems like so so long ago when i made the decision to start vlogging i wasn't really sure how it would be perceived or what would happen if people would actually watch if people would interact but then i thought you know what i've always wanted to try vlogging i've got some really cool things going on so i'm literally just going to do it and i'm so so glad that i did because i've learned so much about filming and editing and vlogging and i've absolutely loved the experience and the opportunity to just kind of put my work out there and put my content out there and the response that i've got and the feedback that i've got from all my social media so instagram uh, twitter facebook people that have sent me messages reaching out the opportunities that have come from it um just networking it's been incredible so i just want to thank you all so so much i might do the odd episode like i said before you know if i get another acting job fingers crossed for the short film or uh, if you know if something else incredible happens or if i just need to tell you guys something i might just do the odd episode maybe season two you never know just stay ambitious stay creative never give up on what you want out of life and if you want to do something just do it and don't worry about what people might say or what people might think because You've only got one life and you shouldn't go looking for anyone's approval to do what you want to do to make you happy.